Greetings from Mexico. It's me, your friend Gregorio. Today, I'm going to read a passage from my book, The Craig Lewis Guide to Surviving the Impossible. This passage is called, Speak with your heart as words will often fail you. And then I will read the questions and give some answers. And then I will say goodbye for now. Okay, here goes. Speak with your heart as words will often fail you. To live with a broken heart is to know that love is real. If you feel pain at the thought or memory of being separated temporarily or permanently from someone you love, then you get it. In times of intensity and hurt, please try to remember the little baby you once were and still are deep within you and do right by you. Your heart is all you've got. Protect it. Nurture it. Secure it. And love it. In this crazy life, too many times, in moments in which I lost myself, my words failed me. What has been said is done. However, what your heart speaks in this moment and in every moment forward is up to you, up to you, up to you, up to you, up to me, and all of us. That's my story. And here are the questions. Speak with your heart as words will often fail you. Worksheet. 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 What would it feel like if every wound in your heart, in my heart, was completely healed? Well, I don't, I don't know if uh, my expression on my face and the what should be obvious or like tears welled up in my eyes uh, does not already give away <laughs> that I want that uh, life to I want to live that life where every wound in my heart is healed and that's um, that's my answer What is one thing I can do or you can do right in this minute to reset your mental space to allow for seeing a more beautiful future? Well, I'm looking out my window and my door, the beautiful mountain. I see my flowers. I have um, right now uh, almost 40 roses in the blossoming phase. So I'm going to um, water those plants and uh I also see a cat out there who really wants to eat some food, so I'm going to go give him some food. And that'll make me happy because, you know, because it feels good to provide things that sentient beings need that they might not have, whether it's a cat or a human or any, any sort of being, you know. That feels good to me. I like that. So that's why I have a cat zoo. I have a cat zoo here on my terrace. So I'm going to do that. Then... Then I'm gonna go eat some food. I'm gonna to go to the bank, gotta do something there, do something else, and have a really good afternoon to the best of my ability. Because that right there is my decision. And my got is right here. All right. Question three. If you could apologize, if I could apologize to one person in this world, who would it be and what would I say? Currently, I have a lot of emotion because I um, had to take care of myself, my heart. So I, I've been having these arguments in my head about what to do and how to do it and how to take care of myself and how to be a good person and 
how to be helpful to others and all this. And well, I want to say apology for two people. One to myself for not knowing how to deal with things better until I have had to learn and one for other another person and I hope that is the same for them because how the heck is anyone supposed to know how to deal with stuff when they don't teach us how to deal with these things in school and they don't teach us how to deal with these things uh, with our families and uh, it's very hard to live in this world and it's very unfair and so I just apologize to myself and others and anyone who suffers uh, because we can only learn what we learn once we are able to learn it and that's the reality so thank you and peace bye bye have a great day